welcome to Athens in Greece beautiful sunny Athens whenever we've been to Athens it was sunny and warm and that's why we like it we've been to Athens a few times or even more and I have different videos about Athens and even once we took a food tour in Athens and I really recommend you to watch that but today we are not going to do lots of touristy things I mean we are not going to main tourist attraction like Acropolis because we've done it in the past but today we are going to just relax and enjoy the city and show you how expensive or how cheap this city is to visit. The main expense when it comes to traveling is the accommodation. And Athens is not an exception. There are different types of accommodation and different range of hotels in Athens. But as you can see, this is our hotel, four star hotel in the center. And our room is literally very small. It's just this bed, as you can see and that's it the room is not huge as you can see and it just there is not much into the room it's just like a bed a small desk and that's it even there is no space for our bags for two nights we spent 278 euros for this room the breakfast is included is a buffet and we have a great view of the acropolis the good thing about this hotel is that it's in the center it's just a five minute walk from the center like you take a walk and you're literally middle of everything We are now walking around Anafiotica, which is a little oasis under the Acropolis. Uh, here, uh, it used to be a, a little hidden gem when we came the first few times, but right now it's quite busy, so I'm not, not sure what happened in the past few years. It's free to walk around here and you can take nice photos and videos of the surroundings and some locals still live here, so it's a quite a nice place to visit. Very narrow. Path. I don't know how they move their stuff or furniture around here and this is the residential area if you are planning to visit this area make sure to be respectful of the locals <laughs> And if you continue the narrow path uphill, you will end up here at the foot of Acropolis where you can have a great view of the city. you don't need to use any public transport or take a taxi so you can literally walk everywhere in this case like you can save money if you want or you can just access that I like walking around so for me it's a good option but to get to the center from the airport is actually quite far and you have different options so depending on what what's your budget so you can get the bus or you can get the train when we arrived it was actually quite late it was almost midnight so we opted for, for a taxi just to get to the hotel at a decent time uh, but it costs around 40 to 50 euros so it's your choice whether to get a taxi to Athens or not from the airport Koskas is one of the most popular places for souvlaki in Athens and actually when we were doing the, the food tour our guide recommended but there is a huge queue and it's quite cheap like you can get one souvlaki for three euros but I don't like queuing for food so we go somewhere like less busy we found a place to sit and actually still I can see the queue is growing. This place doesn't have soup like it but we ordered kebab uh, pizza which is 3 euros 90 and actually this place is quite cheap but in the past we had soup like for something like 16 euros 
uh, if you are going to some touristy area, some restaurant, they charge you. And so be careful about that. I also ordered salad. I love salads in Greek. And this one was quite pricey for this place is seven euros and 350 for the fries and three euros 50 for orange juice. Let's try the taste too. It's not just about the price always. It's really tasty and the meat is lamb and beef and it tastes really good. I don't know why, always fries in Greece taste better. The food was so delicious. As you can see, I usually don't finish my food or I order very little. But this time I ordered quite big salad and pita with kebab and I finished it. While walking in Athens, I always find something new to see or to do here and just we found the Philly market uh, and we are going to check it out cappuccino and cappuccino ice cream I didn't pay so I don't know the prices Bruno will tell you the cappuccino was 3 euros 50 while the single scoop ice cream 280 the ice cream is mine yeah enjoy it. came to Aten to see our friends, like old friends. <laughs> We're still young. And now we came for a drink and as you can see it's a red wine and we got the bottle. 29 euro for this for Merlot. It's a local one. 2020. Don't know cuz and I get a lot of recommendation from them. So do you think Aten is cheap or expensive to travel to? Oh, Athens has everything for every budget, so you can go as cheap and as expensive as you want. But generally the wines are great and uh, the food uh, is more affordable than, than going to New York, for example. <laughs> so we had the comment from the locals. I hope you enjoyed this video. For now, thanks for watching and tomorrow morning we are leaving Athens and we are going to Milos. So make sure to subscribe to watch the next video. Oh,